This is John Cole with DiscountJuicer.com to another exciting episode for you. In this episode, we're going to show you guys the one accessory you guys need to buy if you guys own a juicer or a blender. This is one accessory that I use a lot in my kitchen and I would not go without it by any means. And what that accessory is, it's an accessory that will allow you to juice in a vacuum blender or even a standard blender, which I actually don't recommend due to the high speed oxidative damage. Um, or get a higher yield out of your current juicer. I know a lot of you guys complain all the time, Joe, my, my pulp is so wet. How can I get my pulp dryer? Well, this is the number one accessory you need to get your pulp dryer if you don't have a $2,300 or $2,400 pure juicer that literally mashes all the juice out of your produce and leaves sawdust dry pulp. And what that item simply is is Alexa's bags. These are known as nut milk bags or you can use them as a juice bag is what I use them for. I rarely ever make nut milks and these are the best nut milk or juice bags on the market as I'll show you guys actually in a little bit after we get done juicing. I use this in conjunction with my vacuum blender to get the highest yields and the most nutrition in my juices. Check the link down below for my best juicers of 2022 to see how I use this bag in conjunction with the juicer and basically blow away the yield of most common juicers on the market today. That being said, if you guys already own a juicer, this is a no-brainer purchase you guys should make. You can purchase these bags at alexasbags.com. I do have a relationship with alexasbags.com, so they will give me a small commission on the sale of Alexa's bags at this time. So I need to let you guys know that. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and just juice with a Breville juicer. You guys know that I'm not a fan of the Breville juicers. These juices are very inefficient. They leave a very wet pulp, but most people just throw away their pulp and literally you are throwing money down the drain when you do that, right? Using Alexa's bags and a blender, vacuum blender preferred, you can get up to 92% yield uh, when juicing with Alexa's bags. And today I want to see how much more juice I could get when juicing in a Breville juicer. Now keep in mind guys, every juicer will juice certain items better than others. So you know, slow juicers notoriously will sometimes leave things like cucumbers and fruits, the pulp a bit wetter. Things like leafy greens are already really dry pulp as it comes out. So if you're getting, if you're juicing leafy greens, the pulp's already dry out of your juicer use the bag, you're not going to get much more. Also, these bags work most efficiently when the pulp is broken down to the finest particle size as possible. That's why I like using a vacuum blender to break down the particle size, to blow open all the cell walls, to expose all the phytonutrients, minerals, and vitamins in there so that the bags will work the most effectively. Some juicers leave pretty big chunks and big grit and larger chunks of fruits and vegetables and though when you have larger chunks that will not work as effectively with a bag so I want you guys to understand this anyways what I want to do today is we're gonna go ahead and weigh the produce I'll be juicing and today I'm juicing some uh, pineapple uh, sweet limes and some oranges so that produce weighs 1585 all right, now that we got the produce weighed in, next step is we're gonna juice it in the Breville. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on high and we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward this for you guys. Last pineapple going into the Breville, man. This thing is extremely loud and we've created quite an aerated juice. But I wanna let you guys know that the, this is the Breville cold juicer that does not raise the temperature of your juices more than two degrees. Um, and here's the thing. All centrifugal juicers, although some people still claim falsely that high-speed juicers such as centrifugal juicers heat your juice, that's going totally false. Yeah, I mean, every juicer will heat up the juice a little bit, but just because it's high-speed centrifugal doesn't mean the heat is the worst thing. The worst thing, in my opinion, is the air bubbles. Look at all the air inside there that's inflated into the juice. We are adding air into the juice as you're creating it. That lowers the antioxidant and polyphenol content as shown by published scientific studies and that's why I like to use vacuum blending to to basically omit the excess oxygen out of the container as you're rupturing the cell walls um, so that's this machine so let's go ahead and 
tip this up and see if there's any juice out. Any more juice? All right, that's all the juice we got out of there. And now for fun, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a, another picture here. We're going to zero that out, and we're going to see how much the juice that we created in the Breville weighs. Man, and this, there's a lot of foam in here. If you like light, nice, frothy drinks, then you're in luck. All right, so the weight of the juice, as it's continuing to drip, is 895 grams. So now I want to weigh out the pulp that the juicer created, and according to my math, it should be about 600 grams. So let's kind of see what we got here. Let's go ahead and zero out this uh, again. All right, we got it to zero, and let's go ahead and see how much pulp we got. Let's go ahead and take the machine apart first. And look at all this pulp collecting inside the machine. I'm going to try to do my best to scrape out as much of it as I possibly can. All right, so we got most of the pulp out of the juicer itself, but let's go ahead and see what kind of pulp is left in the juice collection bin. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so wet, man. That's insane. All right, so it looks like um, the pulp collection bin is pretty much empty. There's some few things I could not get out in there. But we got most of the pulp on the pie plate here, and it's 621 grams. So now I want to see how much juice is left over in this pulp. And the most efficient way to do that is to use Alexa's nut milk bag here. Now, first, I want to let you guys know why I like Alexa's nut milk bag more than any other nut milk bag or juice bag on the market. Number one reason is because it doesn't have any strings. Strings is basically a harborage area where, you know, things get dirty, pulp could get trapped and stuck, and mold could grow. In addition, it has these rounded corners, so there's no corners for juice pulp, nut pulp to get stuck in. It also is oversized, so it's nice and large, so I really like that a lot, so it fits over blender crafts. In addition, Alexa's bags has a one-year replacement uh, guarantee for you guys, so should you blow out a bag within a year, they will replace it for free. And this is uh, ultrasonically welded in the United States. I had formerly recommended the Blendtec bag, and this is basically the improved version of the Blendtec bag that is no longer available. So let's go ahead and, s oh, and the other, check this out, guys. This is oversized, and this is why I like the oversized bag. You can literally take a whole pie plate and put it in there, right? And then just drop all your pulp out. And I've done this with blender crafts and other things. I really like the larger size. It also gives you more pressing area when you are squeezing out the pulp. All right, so we got basically most of the pulp out into the bag. And now let's go ahead and see how much extra juice we can make. I think I've squeezed out as much as I'm gonna squeeze out here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see, go ahead and see how much pulp we have left. And how I like to get the pulp out of the bag is just basically shake it down. And then I like to just basically flick the pulp off. Some of the pulp will remain in the bag, so I won't easily be able to get that out, but you know, we're gonna get the overwhelming majority of the pulp out. Let's go ahead and dump it on the scale here. All right, there's a little bit of pulp left in the bag, but check it out, guys. Now this pulp weighs 153 grams. It's like super dry. If you try to eat this, you don't want to eat it. <laughs> it's just basically fiber. You could dehydrate that, feed it to your dogs. You know, to me, this is compost for my compost bin. Now let's see how much more juice we yielded in terms of the weight. We're gonna pour this juice in there. All right, the juice weight here is now 341 grams. So 341 more grams of juice here. And let's go ahead and, now let's go ahead and do a close up here of how much juice we made in volume so you guys could see how much extra we made. All right, let's go ahead and give you guys a close up here. Over on the original juice that was made after settling, Looks pretty much looks like to me we got about 800 milliliters because it looks like we got about 200 milliliters of straight up foam after the juice had settled. Really nice. So 800 milliliters 
as compared to an extra 300 milliliters of juice, maybe like 305 milliliters of juice uh, when squeezing out the pulp. So as you guys can see, I got a net increase of about 38% more juice, uh, whether you do that in like volume or whether you do that by weight. So that's a lot of extra juice literally be throwing down the drain each time you juice. Of course, you know, your gains may not be as much as this, you know, something like if you're juicing like carrots in a breville, it's fairly efficient juicing carrots and you're not going to get nearly this much extra yield. It all depends on how wet is your pulp. If you could grab your pulp out of your juicer and you could squeeze it in your hand and juice squeezes out instead of just pulp squeezes out like this, like there's no juice that could be expelled from this pulp, um, you know, then you will be saving some money. And this will prevent you from having to buy an expensive like Wells press or, you know, manual jack press. You could get one of those two and it might make an extra half an ounce but then you have to now clean the extra press, spend $400 or more to buy the press. Whereas with these, you just, you know, clean a bag out. And honestly, guys, I'm going to take this to my uh, backyard and use the hose to basically spray out and dislodge all the pulp. So there's basically, I don't scrub this guy. It's so easy to clean for 38% more juice in this case. Now, the other thing I will say is that, you know, you don't even need to use the juicer to get even a higher yield than this and a multi-step process link down below to that video where I basically just blend pineapples in the vacuum blender and then put it through the bag to press it out that way you're assured a higher quality juice with all the, without the extra air infiltration being injected into your juice that lowers the nutrition and lowers the flavor and taste of your juice the final thing I want to do today for you guys is go ahead and taste the juice here so first we're going to taste the juice in the breville and this is pouring off the bottom um, and we're not getting a lot of the foam there. We're going to go ahead and taste this. Mm. You know that's a good juice. Actually this is my recipe for like if you have a cold coming on you want to do like this pineapple orange juice. Maybe even add some ginger in there. Mm. Really good. I really like the sweet lime limes because they're not acid at all. It really reduces the acid content of the pineapple. And now the juice made that I hand pressed, this juice is notably a little bit more thick, you know. Mmm. Wow. That's way better. So this juice, I am tasting a lot more of the bioflavonoids um, from the orange, like that white pith part. This is more akin to like a slow juice that would do better at extracting the nutrients from the white pith since the high speed juicer pretty much extracted, I mean I hate saying it, but sugar water, you know we got a bit more nutrition um, you know out of when we, when we pressed it out by hand. Mm. That being said, as much as I am juicing fruits today, and while I do believe fruit juice is way better than a Coke or a soda you would get, or store bought, juices that can add even things like sugar to them. Um, I do encourage you guys to juice vegetables and especially leafy green vegetables uh, more than just juicing fruits. And once again this bag will work best on things like cucumbers and watery fruits. Tom Dixon who invented Alexa's bags um, also will juice his celery in this manner and I want to thank Tom for inventing this bag number one and I wouldn't be able to share this new juicing technology with you guys how you can basically make the highest quality juice with the most yield with the most nutrition under vacuum without getting the negative impacts of the oxygen during the time you're breaking open cell walls extract a higher quality juice and up to 92% yield if all done in the vacuum blender. So juicing alone without Alexa's nut milk bags, I would have got about a 56% overall yield in terms of the grams, original grams and the juice gram weight. And then by squeezing the pulp out with Alexa's nut milk bags, I was able to raise that yield from 56% up to 78% overall. So I have very little produce waste left over. So in the end, you know, a one-time investment in Alexa's nut milk bags will save you money. Whether you want to juice or make nut milks in your vacuum blender or traditional blender, which I don't recommend because it makes a higher, 
more oxidized juice than even a high-speed juicer in my opinion or whether you want to press out the pulp from your current juicer I think Alexa's bags over time will save you more money and of course your results may vary depending on your specific produce recipes but in general the most important thing is getting your pulp down to a small particle size if your juicer leaves big chunks like some of those inexpensive juicers on big box website stores and it doesn't op break open the cell walls you could put that into a bag and you're going to not make as much yield so in that case then what i'd recommend is you want to take your juice pulp put it into a blender with some extra coconut water or water blend it up to open up those cell walls more and then put it through your press bag to make more juice that now has some water to get it to blend up in the blender and of course i only recommend vacuum blending vacuum blending is game changer guys link down below to my video on making juice in a vacuum blender because that's the best way to use Alexa's nut milk bags. So whether you guys own a juicer or a blender, you guys definitely want to purchase some Alexa's nut milk bags. You can get them now at alexasbags.com. That's pretty much it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode learning about my favorite nut milk bag that I use as a juice bag to basically get more yield out of my produce and save money, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, please be sure to share this video on other juice forums with your friends, family, and neighbors that are into juicing so that they could stop the food waste. People throw out their wet pulp all the time and by simply putting it through a bag and squeezing it out with your hands, no expensive press is needed, you could get uh, significant increases in the amount of juice you get out of your pulp to save you guys money. This would be especially important if you're on a medical medium juicing program and you're juicing all the time, things like celery, and cucumbers that depending on the juice you're using the pulp can be quite wet also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new upcoming episodes i have coming out about every five to seven days you never know where i'll show up or what you'll be learning on my youtube channel and make sure you click the little bell so you get notified as many videos come out and finally be sure to check my past episodes my past episodes are wealth of knowledge over 600 episodes at this time on this youtube channel dedicated to teach you guys all about how to get more fresh fruits and vegetables in you and the most efficient appliances on the planet to do that, including the juicers and the vacuum blenders. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.